Attorney General is not invited, though the Prime Minister's Bureau says that it was only a ceremonial meeting. Netanyahu and the Attorney General will have a working meeting on Sunday. And an international reaction, U.S. President Joe Biden in a statement on the new government of Israel said that he looks forward to working with Prime Minister Netanyahu to address the many challenges and opportunities facing Israel and the Middle East region, including threats from Iran. He also notes that throughout his administration, the U.S. will continue to support the two-state solution and to oppose policies that endanger its viability or contradict mutual interests and values. Israeli security forces operating overnight in Judea and Samaria arrested 10 wanted Palestinians. The security forces also seized money intended for terror activity and confiscated more than 10 stolen cars. The detainees were transferred for questioning. In, but between Yitar in Samaria, IDF reservists opened fire to distance Israeli Jews who were throwing stones at Palestinian cars. Several Palestinians sustained injuries from glass shards. Charges have been filed against three IDF soldiers suspected of throwing an explosive device at the home of a Palestinian in the Bethlehem area, allegedly to avenge the snatching of the body of a Druze teen, Tehran Firo, by Palestinian gunmen in a Janine hospital a month ago. A con reporter says that two of the soldiers are Druze, one is Jewish. The device they threw exploded and caused a fire. There were no injuries. The military court advanced publication of the names of the three. They have been remanded in custody until next month. Economic news. The maximum price of the 95-octane gasoline at the self-service pump in Israel will go up by 9 agorot on Saturday night for 6 shekels, 94 agorot at the self-service pump. This is the third consecutive month that gasoline prices have risen, and January's price will be the highest since July 2022. Authorities in Israel have recognized 325 people as victims of human trafficking. According to the data released by the government unit for coordination in the fight against human trafficking, in the years 2017 through 2021, more than 70% of the victims...